from crisp sets to fuzzy intuitionistic fuzzy and neutrosophic sets. Well, as we know, classical logic is based on the very natural assumption that there are only two logical values, namely truth and falsity, that is 1 and 0. So this is binary, low over excluded middle, for example. And consequently, if A is some subset of the universe X, then for any element of this universe the following holds X is in A or X is not in A. So the characteristic function of X with respect to A is very simple. Um, its values are 0 or 1, clearly. But sometimes a need occurs to model various aspects of uncertainty, in a sense different than in probability theory. And many logicians, starting from Łukasiewicz, then there was Post and Belknap, for example, they studied three-valued, four-valued, and in general many-valued logics or multiple-valued logics. This is still popular, but uh, there was Zadek. It was Zadek who introduced uh, fuzzy sets in 1965, and um, this was a big step because now it became possible to deal in a very formal way, mathematical way, with such general and unclear notions as tall or heavy or young, and with the idea that something can be nearly or partially in a set, in a given set. So a fuzzy set A on U, on universe U, can be defined as follows. As, the, as a collection of ordered pairs, such that the first element of such pair is um, x, any element from the universe, and then we have membership function, the value of membership function when x is our argument. Um, so, as you can see, any fuzzy set may be identified with its membership function. So, for example, we may define a fuzzy set of tall people, yes, this is our point on view of view, um, connected with the concept of being tall or, or being young. Um, as for the non-membership function, as we can read here, it's defined as 1 minus truth function. So, okay, fuzzy logic is non-classical in some sense because it allows for partial truth. However, this relationship between belonging and non-belonging is binary and classical. This is here. Uh, so, then was Atanasov who introduced intuitionistic fuzzy sets, where, as you can see here, we have two different functions, truth and falsity. So, membership and non-membership are mutually independent, but their values must sum up to the number not bigger than 1. So, if we have beta as our membership, then our non-membership must be not bigger than 1 minus beta. And um, the rest, yes, we have truth, falsity, and maybe some non-zero rest, as it's written here. This is called hesitation margin. Um, so we can say that certain element is 0 0.20 in our set, 0 0.40 not in our set, and 0 0.40 is hesitation margin, yes? Then we have neutrosophic sets. And they are studied by Smarandache, Florentin Smarandache, and by his followers and collaborators all over the world. In this case, we have three functions, truth, ignorance, and falsity. But this is not the whole thing. Because, okay, each of them takes values from 0, 1. But they sum up to the number which may be, which is not bigger than 3, but without any problem, it may be bigger than 1. Um, I stands for indeterminacy, yes? So we have indeterminacy, which is defined by us, and we have, and we can have some hesitation margin, but it is allowed to fix truth, just like falsity, just like indeterminacy, just like 1. So. Um, this allows for some kind of paraconsistency, as, we, as, as you can read here. Yes, uh, this describes ambiguity, embarrassment, confusion, yes. Um, note that in case of intuitionistic fuzzy sets, 
we had two values, but their maximal sum was not two, which would be analogous to this neutrosophic approach, which is here, um, but it was one. Um, the idea of neutrosophic set, which is already very general, uh, it can be extended. And one possible direction is to increase the number of logical values. And in this way, we may obtain quadruple partitioned neutrosophic sets where uh, indeterminacy is split into contradiction and unknownness, pentapartitioned neutrosophic sets where we have contradiction, uh, ignorance, and unknownness have the partition at neutrosophic sets where we have seven values and among them we have relative truth and relative falsity and of course contradiction, unknownness, ignorance. And in general, n-valued neutrosophic sets where we have n types or degrees of truth from complete truth to complete falsity. All these concepts are mixed with other known methods of investigation of the whole concept of vagueness or uncertainty. So we have for example, quadri or penta partitioned neutrosophic soft sets, where well, the idea of soft sets comes from Molotsov, and we have interval penta partitioned neutrosophic sets, and it all depends on your applications and needs. Um, one can define various algebraic operations on those sets, on fuzzy and intuitionistic fuzzy and neutrosophic sets. The most typical are, of course, union or intersection, or rather analogous of union and intersection. For example, in case of uh, intuitionistic fuzzy sets, union is defined in the following manner. Uh, you take your x and then you take true functions of a and b uh, with x as your argument and you are looking for their maximum as it's written here and for the minimum when it comes to, uh, to the falsity function. And um, Analogously here, in case of intersection, minimum of truths and maximum of falsities. And similar operations are defined for other classes of sets mentioned in this video, for uh, neutrosophic sets, for example, and, and other. And you should know that there are also other approaches to the whole idea of uncertainty. First, there are crisp version of intuitionistic fuzzy sets, and even on our channel you can find videos about Joker's intuitionistic sets. And there are also crisp neutrosophic sets. Um, this was established by Salama from Egypt. And moreover, there are theories of rough sets, gray sets, shadowed sets of Pedrich, and soft sets of Molotsov. And there is no place here, of course, to discuss all, all these concepts, but we encourage you to study this topic or those topics later and um, one should emphasize the fact that in each of these environments, be it intuitionistic fuzzy sets, fuzzy sets, intuitionistic sets, neutrosophic sets, pentapartitioned neutrosophic sets, in each of these environments you may establish a topological structure or generalized topology, minimal structure, or something like this, or anti-topology. Uh, okay, this is the bibliography, Zadek's paper, Athanasov's paper, and some papers on neutrosophic sets, so if you are interested, you may check them. Thank you very much for your attention.